Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So new uh, archetype was revealed, I think it was yesterday, and uh, let's try it out. Uh, white forests, it's... On first sight I was like, these seem okay-ish. But, um, you know, after reading them again, seeing a couple of options, uh, they are good, there is potential. Simply because the deck already has some unfair stuff going on. Is this immediately tier 1? Probably not, but again there is potential. Um, I think this this is the more the most standard combo where everything starts. One of the level twos, this one. Um, discard the spell. Well, what is it? Send the spell to the graveyard. Very similar to Diablo Star. Uh, some of the spells and traps trigger when they are discarded for a monster effect. Reset them. You know, set them to your spell and trap card. So, so potentially, you know, using or sending it again to the graveyard to basically special summon one of your white force monsters from the deck. There's two level fours. Both of the level fours are tuners. So that's important because you rank up, level up to level six synchro, and that level up levels up to level eight. And the level eight one has a quick synchro effect. Uh, or a quick synchro, as soon as your opponent activates a card effect, you can special summon like a synchro tuner from your extra deck, like formula, synchron, etc. The reason why there there are some good hybrids, like for example Runic, the first one that came to mind next to Bistials, but in the current format Bistials aren't that fantastic. Um, and of course this one, Centurion, because of this. Both hybrids, they work you know, really well together because of extenders, both. Uh, well, I, I think one, at least starting from White Forest into Centurion is the best, I feel. Because as you saw, like this, one of the level 2s and one spell discard is this. Is is full combo featuring, featuring this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> the other level 6, this one, the yellow one, is basically a big book of Eclipse for your opponent as soon as it hits the field. It's also a synchro tuner, so keep that in mind. So very, you know, there's like mixtures between a couple of archetypes you already had uh, in the past. Um, so anyway, um, I think all the crucial points of this deck are weaknesses, I guess, maybe of White Forest. It's one of the spells, uh, currently a two of in the main deck, is their Surge spell. You need, what is it, either an Illusion Monster or Spellcaster on the field. I think it's Primera, one of the level fours, is a Spellcaster for Centurion, so that works out. That, that's fine-ish. Um, but I mean, with this, like look, th there were two hand traps, what, what were they? Like Imperm, Veiler and or Ash, one of those, those two. And uh, the thing is, is that by going for full Centurion combo first, and then depending um, if your opponent has hand traps or interruptions, you can act accordingly. The, um, the best level two should, you know, at least your normal summon should probably go to the level 2, like the 3 of in the main deck, the one that sent a spell to the graveyard or a trap, either from field or hand, and that's, it's basically a hero's, uh, hero's lift, or a hero lifts, special summons uh, one from deck, which again special summons their stratos for spells and it gets the ball rolling. One of the more uh, unfair uh, gimmicks of this deck is the um, once per turn level 4 graveyard effects. Like both of the level 4 have the capability to send one synchro from their archetype, either from field or graveyard, pot of ever is a like effect, back to the extra deck to reborn itself. And that, that's not once per duel, so it's once per turn, and it's kind of ridiculous because, you know, like all the level 6, I think all of them, both of them, and the level 8 from White Forest are generic synchro, so you can easily make them with like both hybrids, both archetypes, synchro up for Baron level 12, and then, you know, reborn the level 4 for free, set up your extra deck again. Uh, keep in mind is that all of the, I think all of them, all of the synchros from White Forest are light, I think so. Uh, so for now, I only have them as a one of an extra deck, but keep in mind if Bistials is getting more popular, you might need more of those in the extra deck. Because again, you like this one, discard or set, send the spell to, um, what is it, search from deck. Uh, that, that's important. The, the trap, it's basically um, special summon something from deck, one of your level twos or level fours, and then uh, quick synchro up. So the thing is, is that this deck, the hybrid with Centurion, you're giving yourself two options, uh, Centurion field spell and their trap, the white forest trap, to synchro summon during your opponent's turn. So again, Baron, Formula, Synchron, etc. Uh, keep in mind, the uh, level 8 of white forest, that uh, as soon as your opponent activates any card effect, well, yeah, you can well, well synchro summon or is it special summon? I think it's special summon. Special summon a synchro tuner from Extra Deck. You could go for formula synchro, but keep in mind formula synchro misses timing. 
so that's a problem. But I guess, you know, it, it pumps out a level 2 tuner on field and that's a quick synchro for Baron during their turn. So that that's fine still. Uh, and you know, that opens up potential reborn effect because, again, those two level 4s, they are quick effects. So it's you know, send back a synchro, special summon itself of the level 4 that also works during, during your opponent's turn. So you could potentially go for a bigger synchro play with the white 4 strap. So again, like you see, there is potential with this archetype. It can do some unfair stuff. And um, with this first wave, it's one of those archetypes that is able to play during your opponent's turn. And you know how well that goes regarding, you know, like effectiveness, top tier-ish potential. Like this is what I was talking about. Again, formula synchro missing timing. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it should miss timing because it's, you know, when the up can affect. Um, but I think it's fine though, you can still go for Baron. You were still able to extend, right? As you saw in the, what was it, turn number one. Um, yups, these, one of the, one of the level 12s is phase up on field, so my lower attack monsters, what is it, 2k or lower, are protected. The field spell is fine, you know, this is all fine because this is all during the end phase as well, so you don't need to do all of that in the main phase. <laughs> ah, yes, that, that's the beauty of this deck, right? Or at least of the hybrid. And this is cool. Send Baron back and just remake Baron. <laughs> Ah yes, must be nice, must be nice. Uh, so again, like like that's this is so beautiful, and that the fact that, and again one of those advantages of a potential future meta deck, that the synchros are generic. Both of the level four are not once per duel to reborn themselves. One of the level fours is a Stratos, the other one is discard the spell to draw one, and then you know one of their potential archetype spells resets itself. So it's really cool. Um, okay, so no Soul Prime Mira, which gets hand trapped. I try to use this is the other level two. I think it's just fine as a one off. I'm not so sure if I really want to make like, more. It's um, you can special summon her for free, well not for free, from your hand to the field to uh, basically straddle a monster from the deck for the archetype. But you need to send the spell or trap from your hand or field to the graveyard. So it does come with a small cost. Figure of speech. Uh, drop level 6 during their turn, which is again the big book of Eclipse. It stuns them basically, you know, prevents link summons, prevents sinful spoils package, so that definitely helps out. The field spell is again a full combo, so this should be my duel, right? Drop the level 4, drop the Primera, again Primera's full combo, search one of the new level 8s, drop it for free, go for a level 12 synchro play, and again, this opens up a potential Crimson Dragon during their turn. Uh, we're not using True King, oh no, no, what is it, King Calamity. Um, it's banned in the OCG, still legal in the TCG, but you know, by the time we are actually getting a ban list, the card should be banned. So there's one Baron Negate, plus a is, is there a Crimson Dragon play? Oh no, there isn't. Ah, but that's a beauty. Is sure I have a level 4 play ready? Yeah. Um, the, well, the, the, yeah, the level 2 gets, um, I can add the level 2 back again because a light spell cost or tutor was special summoned. And the thing is, is that if you have one of those level 4s in graveyard, you could potentially synchro up during their turn as well. But again, double tuner, so that would not have worked out. So again, this should be more than enough, right? Like, surge the spell, go for level 8, get something back. Did I use a synchro tune? I think, yeah, I think so. Crimson Dragon to go for Cosmic. Uh, you're extending so much and this lately this is your standard combo on the right side and then on the left side if your opponent does not have uh, any form of interruption you can keep continuing uh, i like the small charge warrior uh, line because of this it opens up the baron play plus charge warrior gives you another draw plus could potentially lead to an, uh, a little knight play to interrupt so i, I like charge warrior for this for this reason um yeah, drop the level 8 from its uh, spell and jump card. So, yeah, so I uh, think now going seconds. And in the current meta, I mean, by the time we're getting these cards, we you know, might already have that like one or two ban lists. So the format might be different. But now, like against Snake Eyes and Viable Star, it's throw hand traps at them and hope you connect and hope that they cannot do anything. And here in this case, it kind of worked out. And you see what's going to happen. So use a search, I get ashed, use uh, what is it, talents, get rid of nip, and thrust for field spell full combo. That's how it is. So sadly not using white forest here, the monster, because again, I need to send the spell, you know, um, wasn't really, it's more optimal here to do this line, the centurion line, and then, you know, potentially crimson dragon during their turn, and that's more than also with the, uh, the counter trap for an omnication, so that all helps out. The last one 
is a uh, again going second snake eyes full almost full combo be well, no. <laughs> through Ash through Nip and I still cannot win or wasn't able to win this one um, because yeah because of a couple of reasons you see why so again full snake eyes combo uh, my opening hand is decent is drawing a level eight not the best just want to search it out if I need it and the left one is the the searcher of the archetype but again it's not a free searcher as in a free spell you can always activate you, know, you need to control a spellcaster or an illusion monster so that kind of hurts and that's why the search spell is not I feel a three off for this hybrid uh, so nip but I mean the field spell lets you play around nip and you can still go for full combo because yeah I used ash that's the thing right they can go for Hita um, Formula Synchron opens up the Baron play and yeah, Hita into Ash that punish that punishes the Ash play against the deck, right? Yeah, I mean, was I forced to? Maybe, uh, maybe not. Actually, now that I think of it, maybe I should have you know relied on Nip. Anyway, should use Oath. The thing with Oath is is that um, hmm, I go for the ah oh, yeah. The thing is, is that as soon as the name is, is on field, what is it either as a monster or phase up spell and trap, I'm locked into extra deck summons for Centurion. So that's a small bummer, but I guess it still pre pre uh, preserves your normal summon for uh, you know your white forest cards. But I don't see a line here. I don't see an option to play through the infinite negations with Promethean Princess as well. Ah no, there was a level 12 synchro play, but Promethean Princess says no. Yep, it is what it is. So it's a it's an archetype that has potential, guys. Really, with Runic, like this, with Centurion, like are are for now, like I think one of the better variants you can run. Okay, uh, feel free to leave feedback. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.